Working in a hospital or other medical setting can be scary, for many different reasons. Not only are you constantly exposed to death and dying, but some of the events that take place can be seriously creepy. With this in mind, it should come as no surprise that hospitals are ripe with ghost stories. Doctors, nurses, and other medical staff have been sharing their spookiest, most terrifying encounters for decades. So, turn off the lights, grab a cozy blanket, and prepare yourself for harrowing tales of haunted hospitals and eerie encounters not for the faint of heart. Many hospital ghost stories center on patients who just won't make the journey to the other side. But this is one of the most bone-chilling we've ever heard. A nurse working in a palliative care unit was performing a typical post-mortem care routine on a patient when she noticed that his eyes hadn't been closed yet. The nurse closed his eyes and went back to her business, only to look over and see that his eyes were still open, fixating on the nurse's face. If that wasn't creepy enough, he then let out a groan and grabbed onto the bed rail as she washed him. After triple checking his pulse and confirming that the patient was indeed dead, she quickly zipped up the bag and did everything she could to avoid his once again open eyes. Nurse Jay was working with a patient who had many different illnesses, but just couldn't wrap his head around the idea of death, even though it was imminent. Whenever his monitors would beep, he would scream at the nurses, don't let me die, don't let me die. At some point, the patient's cardiac monitor sounded an alarm, causing Nurse Jay and others to come into the room with a crash cart, only to see that the patient was floating two inches above the bed, laughing maniacally. Once they got over the shock of what they were seeing, the nurses tried to revive the man, but their efforts were in vain. After the time of death had been called, Nurse Jay and the others could hear the man whispering, you let him die, too bad and again, don't let me die. Nightmares haunted the nurses for weeks as you can imagine. I was working in an ICU, had a patient who would only repeat what was said to her and was with her all night. One time I went into the room, and she started telling me all the ways she died. Then later she looked up at the ceiling and said, they're all still there. I ran out of that room as fast as I could. Another time I had a blind patient who kept asking me what time it was all night long. Another time I had a blind patient who kept asking me what time it was all night long. One time I went in to check on him, and he says to me, it's the witching hour, it was 3.33. I walked out immediately. I worked at an LTC facility as a night shift aide about 14 years ago. I worked a hall I had never been on before. It was midnight, and I saw an elderly guy walk out of a room, down the hallway, and leave the facility. I went to that room and the resident was awake, asked her who she was talking to and she told me her husband always came to visit her late at night. I went to ask the other aide on the floor about it and they told me the resident was 102 years old and her husband had been dead for like 20 to 30 years. Swear on my life that it was an actual person leaving that hall. I could even describe his outfit and hat. Needless to say, I didn't work that hall much anymore. I'm an ER nurse. I had an old lady come in by ambulance near death. She was a DNR, so we weren't going to do much for her. She didn't have any family that we could find. The hospital was full, so we had to keep her in the ER for the night. Again, she was near death. When you've seen enough people die, there's no mistaking it. And she was almost there, barely responsive, pale, cool. Breaths were really irregular. Heart rate was up and down too. We just turned the lights down and kept an eye on her monitor, basically waiting for her to die. 
About an hour later, she's standing at the door of her room. She'd gotten up and put on all her clothes. We all looked at each other shocked. One of the nurses went to check on her, and she said she was hungry. Not knowing really what to make of things, we got her a chair, a bedside table, and went to the cafeteria and got her a tray of food. Lady sat there, ate all her food, talked with the staff a little. After about an hour, she told her nurse that she was tired and wanted to lie back down. We helped her back into bed, and within 30 minutes she was dead. I used to work in a skilled nursing facility. I was usually assigned to the Alzheimer's ward. One night, I'm in the linen room stocking my cart, and I heard someone shuffle up behind me. Then I felt a hand on my shoulder. I turned around, and there was no one else in the room. The door was still shut. Another lady started to complain that a man was coming into her room at night. Again, Alzheimer's, so I didn't think much of it. So to reassure her, I told her I'd check on her throughout the night. She complained of this man every night for a week. When I asked her to describe him to me, she said, he's real handsome and wears a black suit. Oh, he's right behind you now, honey. That freaked me out. And of course, there was no one behind me. She died the next night in her sleep. One night I was caring for a dying male patient. He was scared and I spent quite some time with him, trying to calm and reassure him. Eventually he calmed and I left the bedside and went over to the nurse's station which was about 15 feet away. As I sat down I glanced over to him, and there was a black shape standing over the bed, looking down at the patient. I was terrified, and I'm sure it was something evil. Like most very old hospitals, at one time our hospital was run by nuns. One particular unit had been converted into a sleep study lab area for outpatients tests. One shift in the middle of the night, I was watching the video monitor and five patients simultaneously began removing their monitors. I went into the first room to ask what was going on, and the patient said that old nurse with the cap told her the study was over and that she could leave. All the patients reported the same story. We have a gentleman that we call the inspector. He appears at the end of the long hall. He carries a clipboard in his hand. When he shows up, a resident usually dies within the next couple days. We've also had residents ring and tell us that there was a man standing next to their roommate's bed and that we should tell him to leave. The roommate usually dies soon after. And then there's the children. Several lucid residents have reported children in the halls at night there's a children's home behind us where children have been abused in the past. I was working my regular seven to seven night shift in a bone marrow transplant unit with one other nurse. We had five patients and it was about 3.30 in the morning. My coworker had just come out of room four and I startled her as she came around the corner. She had been emptying a urinal when the bathroom door had closed on her, which of course freaked her out and she spilled urine on herself. But I digress. She proceeded to tell me that there was a young gentleman who had been in that room who had died a rather gruesome death. Evidently this man was slated to go home, but one night around four the nurses heard a thump, the sound of someone falling. They rushed in the room, and this man was in the bathroom, central line out, and blood everywhere. They coded him, but he died right there in the bathroom. No one is sure why he pulled his line, or what had happened, but evidently the scene was a bloodbath. Here comes the scary part, a few weeks later, a sweet little old lady is in that room and asks the nurse if someone had died in there. The nurse explained that this is a hospital, and it was likely that someone could have died. Well, the lady says, I think a young guy died in here. The nurse asks why, the lady responds cause he's talking to me. This lady has a central line, triple lumen. The nurse goes in there later and there is blood everywhere. One of her lines is cut, not pulled out but cut. There are no scissors in the room. The lady says he did it, 